Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, my mom has a twin sister. Girls day with no dad. Yeah, I definitely need a break from all that manliness. You could say that again. So, what should we start with? Hmm, what are our options? Shopping, coffee, dinner, and a movie. Coffee, then shopping? Then dinner and a movie, or a movie and a dinner. Dinner first, then movie after. I love it. Helen, Helen. <gasps> Oh, no. What? What's going on? Nothing, honey. We have to go. What? Why? Uh, just come with me. Where are you going? Mom, what are you doing? That lady definitely wanted your attention. No, no, she didn't. Yes, she did. She literally said, where are you going when we started running away and there's no other people around? No, she's not trying to get our attention. Yes, I am. Mom, she just said she was. No, she's screaming at someone else. Then why are we running? Because we can't see fair places to be. Like where? Don't worry about it. Helen, why won't you stop for me? Stop running away with your dog. Responding to her? No, I'm not. Hey, miss, who's calling after my mom? Who are you? I'm shush, shush, just get in the car. But mom. Don't mom me. Helen, Helen. Ah, I guess she's scared to see me. I can't believe she doesn't want to see her twin sister. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Who are you, little girl? You know them. I saw you chasing my bestie and her mom. Yes, I needed to talk to them. Well, why were they running then? Oh, they weren't running. They just didn't see me. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah? So you weren't chasing them? Well, I was trying to get their attention, so I guess. Well, I know them. You already said that. You're right, I did. Well, could you bring me to them? Why? Because I need to talk to them. Who? Your friend's mom. Well, good thing I know exactly where she lives. Oh, what are you waiting for? Take me to them then. But why do you want to talk to my bestie's mom? You just have like a million questions, don't you? It's my last question. I promise. It better be. But you don't have the answer. I just won't show you. Well, if you keep asking questions, then I'll never find it anyways. I said this is the last one. Okay, what's the question then? Did you really forget? Just ask it, please. I don't want to be here all day. Why do you even want to talk to my bestie's mom? Because that's my twin sister. What? Mackenzie's mom is your sister? Twin sister, in fact. What? What? Kenzie never said anything about you. That's because me and Mackenzie have never met. I don't even think she knows me. What? Why not? We'll have to talk to her mom and find out. We haven't spoken in years. Maybe that's why she was scared to see me. She was scared to see you? I think so. I'm not sure, though. Interesting. Can we go there now? Sure. Finally, ten unbearable hours later. A few moments later. Mom, who was that? No, no. Mackenzie. Well, why are you being so secretive? I'm not being secretive. It's just none of your business. Well, it is my business since you ruined our girl's day out. We can go another day. So you're admitting that you know her? No. Why was she calling you Helen then? Because that's my name. I've never heard anyone call you that. It's my name. Your name? Yeah. I thought your name was Mackenzie's mom. How does that even make sense? I don't know. I thought you just had kids and then you lose your name. And then your name just becomes whatever your favorite kid's name is. You know, like Mackenzie's mom. Mackenzie as in me, your favorite child, and mom as in you because you're my mom. No, I get it, Mackenzie. Then who was that? She was screaming your name like she knows you. It's none of your business who that crazy lady was. Wait a second. Your sister's in town? Barely. Your sister? Where has she been? Bloxburg. I don't know why she's back here. Meanwhile... Here it is! House. Such a big house. Glad to see she's doing so good with what could have been mine. Huh? Oh, just some old skeletons in the closet between the two of us. Oh, so I'm assuming it's not water under the bridge? Not even close. And Let's see how this goes. Go away! I will not! You are not getting into this house! Funny of you to say that! I'll show her who isn't going away! Would you look at that? I'm in the house like it's my house! And you know what? It could be! <gasps> Auntie! Why are you here? Hi, sweetie! And you know why I'm here. No! I don't. Well, that's rich. Why do you both hate each other so much? You're supposed to love each other. You're sisters. Yeah, you're supposed to love me, Helen. And we're twin sisters, not just sisters. Wait, my mom has a twin sister? I don't want you here. Well, you haven't seen the last of me. I don't care. The longer you're here, the worse it's going to get for you. Well, then, I guess I'll just have to stay low-key. Mom, how come you never said anything about having a twin sister? Because I don't like her. And you better stay away from her unless you want your life to be ruined. What? That doesn't even make sense. She's, like, so nice. Meanwhile... Ugh, why is she still so mean? It's been years, and I'm the one that should be mad. Well, I can promise myself one thing. I am not going to be disrespected like that. Huh, I guess a little payback is in order. Thanks for the sweet ride, sis. I am back in town, baby. Woohoo! 
moments later. What do you want? It better not be about my twin. I am trying to relax. Why can't you talk about it? Because she's the worst. Well, it's kind of sus you don't want to talk about it. Kenzie? Uh-huh? Leave me alone and let me relax. Mom, you've got to be kidding me. I'm not kidding. Now, shush. Ugh, I bet Dad will know. Dad? Hey, Dad, are you up here? Is she still here? No, she left. Phew, well, that's good news. What's going on? I need answers and Mom won't tell me anything. Well, I want nothing to do with this. Leave me out of this. No, Dad, no more dodging questions. You need to tell me or else I'm going to go live with my mom's twin. What? You can't do that. Watch me. Why are you doing this to me? You're putting me in a tricky situation. Well, then just tell me. I can't do that. Your mom will rip me apart and I am not getting in between that level of anger. I won't tell mom, Dad. I promise. How do I know for sure? I won't say a word about it. You just have to believe me, Dad. Fine. It was 21 years ago. Wait, actually, I think it was 20 years ago. I I'm not too sure. Okay, just get on with the story. Okay, okay. Let me talk then. 20 years ago. Uh, life is too good when the Wicked Witch of the West isn't home. What? You don't like it when your big sis is home to bully you? We're twins. What are you even saying? I'm your big sis. That's what I'm saying. No, you're not. We're twins. We're literally the same age. Well, I'm claiming myself as your big sis. Hey, stop. Put me down. Not happening. Ugh. <laughs> you're such a baby. This is why no one likes you. Why? Because you're evil and mean and weird and creepy and just be normal for once and put me down. Oh, you want me to be normal? Yes, please. Can you just do that just for me just once? Your rep is ruining my life and no one in this town even likes you. Oh, yes. I can definitely do that for you. Not a problem at all. I'll get that sorted out right away. Not to worry. Wait, really? Yup. Don't even worry. Everything is about to change. I don't know if I should believe this or not. She's acting extremely suspicious. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Moments later. Act normal, she says. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Dress up as her so she takes all the credit for it. <laughs> Georgia, stop right there! It's not Georgia, it's Helen! Helen? Why are you acting like your sister? Stop at once! Yeah, that's never happening. Peace out! Why are you turning into your sister? Stop this! Stop or you're gonna get in trouble! Oh, I definitely won't get in trouble, so keep chasing me, loser! Where are you gonna go? I know where you live! I'll meet you there, then! <laughs> uh... Five minutes later... Uh... The peace and quiet. So beautiful. What is with all the commotion? It is so loud out there. Put your hands in the air. What? But I'm not Georgia. It's Helen. I don't know where she is. Please, no, let me go. I'm looking for you. What? But I didn't do anything. Don't you play dumb with me. I'm not. I promise. Please, don't arrest me. I didn't do anything wrong. So you weren't running around all crazy? No, I've been home all day. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. It must have been my sister. But you even admitted it was you. That's something my sister would totally do. That is true. Good point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait a second. No, what? You have blonde hair and your sister has black hair and she wears goth clothes and you don't. The person running from me had blonde hair and normal clothes on. Not black hair and goth clothes on. So it must have been you. How dare you lie to me. You thought you could just get your sister in trouble. You're just like her. She must have been pretending to be me. I'm telling you the truth. You have to me. That's a good point, but you're not in the clear yet, so don't leave town. Oh, officer, so glad to see you. Just kidding. I literally hate seeing you. So kind of you. Now you're coming with me. What? Why? Because your sister has black hair, and the one causing all the trouble today looked exactly like you. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Did she do something wrong, officer? <laughs> I knew she was always a bad apple. And that is why they hate each other. Or, well, why your mom hates her twin. I just stay as far away from it as possible. I don't want no problems, that's for sure. See, but what happened next? How was mom able to prove that it wasn't her and it was her twin? Since they look pretty much the same. I'm not actually sure. I think she gave some sort of proof. And then Georgia fled Brookhaven to Bloxburg and never came back. Well, until now. But she's literally banned from Brookhaven. Haven, and if she comes back, they'll arrest her and throw her in jail. But I guess they haven't noticed her yet. Only a matter of time, that's for sure. She definitely doesn't know how to stay low-key. Why doesn't mom say something or go to the police and rat her out? I guess she's just scared of what her sister will do. Yikes. Remember, don't tell your mother. Don't worry, I won't, Dad. Later that same evening. There is so much mayhem happening at my house right now. Yeah, and how's that? I don't know, confusing and enlightening, to say the least. I bet. Wait, I want you to know that. Well, I met your aunt, and 
and showed her to your house. Oh, well, she's not just my mom's sister. Yeah, I had no idea your mom even had a sister. Yeah, and to make matters even worse, she's my mom's twin sister. I know, that's insane. Yeah, you're telling me. Who would have thought? And apparently, she's like my mom's evil twin sister who can't be trusted. Weird, she seemed pretty nice to me. Yeah, she did, but apparently she's like evil, evil. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Well, did your parents tell you to stay away from her? Pretty much. Apparently, she tried to have my mom arrested when they were younger. And then after that, she just fleed the town. Well, how come your mom doesn't call the police? Well, my dad said that she's scared of her or something. Interesting. Family history. Meanwhile. Okay, time to get my payback. Ugh, finally, my hair is done. Hey, the cat's his mom. Love the hairdo. Oh, thank you. Anyways, I've been meaning to speak with you today. Uh-huh. About what? Well, I heard that your sister's in town. Yeah, she is. Well, my dad vowed to arrest her all those years ago, and after he retired, he made me take that vow if she ever came back. And now she's back for the first time ever, and it's our time to finally follow through. Yeah, well, she came to my house and threatened me, and she seems like she's up to no good. Well, why didn't you call me? I was really scared of what she was capable of. I did not want to mess with her, especially after she said, if I say anything to you, then I'm going to be in big trouble. Trouble. Well, if you have any more contact with her, you let me know. I am not letting her get away this time, and I won't let her hurt you. I promise. I'll be in contact if I see her. You have my word. We're gonna catch my evil twin. <laughs> you got that right. All right, well, have a great day. I will. <laughs> Sucker. Moments later. Hey, look, girly, I think that's your mom. Yeah, that is my mom. Or is it your mom's twin? Nah, she's got different color hair and different clothes. Huh. Mom! Hey, Mom! What's her deal? I'm not sure. Mom! Oh, uh, Mackenzie! Mom, aren't you gonna say hi to Sky? Yeah! Did you forget about me, Mrs. Mackenzie's mom, ma'am? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just a little sleepy. That's why I have to go get some coffee. I heard you had a deal with your twin sister today. Yep, that reminds me. We have to keep an eye out for my twin sister and make sure she doesn't come around the house. Definitely. George the policeman is already out looking for her. Not sure how much help he'll be, but I guess an extra set of eyes is never a bad thing. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to trust him to handle it. We cannot depend on him. Yep, totally, but he just came over to me and told me, so at least he's making moves, I guess. So, where are you going, Mom? Home. I'll be going home, but don't mention this to your dad. I don't want him knowing I was out getting some coffee. It's us, but okay. It'll be our little secret. Huh, well, if it's a secret, then I definitely want something in return. I won't ground you. How does that sound? Uh, fine. Three hours later. So, what's for dinner. Yeah, I'm a little peckish, Mom. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? How on earth can you eat at a time like this? Mom, you seemed way more chill when I saw you earlier. Saw me earlier? What are you talking about? Never mind. I don't understand the big stress, honey. Don't understand the big stress? Are you kidding me? My twin sister is back in town, and she's here to take her life back. What? Take her life back? Yeah, like her life here in Brookhaven. Sorry, it's stressful, okay? And she's trying to ruin mine. Well, maybe it's time to contact Officer George. Did you ever think of that? Contact George? Last time I did that, my sister went ballistic on me. Well, I mean, it seemed like you had everything under control today when I saw you out getting cop, I mean, um, earlier this morning. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Wink, wink. Winking? Why are you winking? What's going on? Just go talk to George, honey. Ugh, you two are on your own for dinner tonight. Wow, she seemed much cooler at Starbucks this morning. Wait, you went to Starbucks without telling me? Oops, I wasn't supposed to say anything. Please don't tell her. Fine, I won't, but I'm upset. Welcome to the club. What do you have to be upset about? I didn't get Starbucks either. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better, I guess. A few moments later. Mackenzie's mom? George, what are you doing here? Any new developments on finding my mom's twin? Not really. Oh. George, we need to speak. I am so sorry it's taken me this long to come to you, but... You found your twin sister? Wait. You know she's in town? Well, Mom, you talked to him, didn't you? I mean, everyone does at this point. There have been multiple sightings. Oh, that's a good point. I think it was just an obvious point, not a good one. I'm just gonna ignore that comment, but we need to find her. I made a vow to my father that I would find her. Well, get on it before she messes everything up for me. What are you even worried about her doing? I mean, she can't hurt you now since everyone knows that she's the bad guy. Well, I'd rather be safe than sorry. It's best we nip this in the butt, don't you think? Oh, yeah, totally. Then I finally don't have to listen to my dad's ghost getting angry. I haven't caught her yet. You see your dad's ghost? All the time. And he wants this case closed. Let's just put it that way. Okay, well then stop 
Stop talking and do it. All right, I'm on it. Wait, Mom, didn't you already talk to him this morning? I don't know what you're talking about, honey. Why don't you remember anything from this morning? Ugh, Mackenzie, stop with all the questions. I remember everything. Clearly, not everything. Later that night. No one is going in or out without my knowledge, that's for sure. Oh, but I'm getting a little tired. No, I have to keep myself up. <gasps> oh, what's that? I is that the smell of pizza? She must have made pizza for me as a reward for keeping watch. This is amazing. Nom, nom, nom. This is the best darn pizza ever. Thanks, wifey. You're the best. No problem, hubby. <laughs> Time for payback. Here's my evil little twin. Thanks for all the years of hiding. And here's to your stupid husband for letting this all happen. Now, let's get you looking exactly like me. The next morning. Uh, what? What is he doing in the room? He should be keeping watch. Uh. Mom, can we go on that girl's day? Wait a second. What did you do to my mom? What? I am your mom. Ah, Georgia, what are you doing in my room? It's mom's evil twin. Dad, what do we do? I don't know. What did you do with my wife? I am your wife. I'm not Georgia. What are you talking about? No, you're not. Stop playing. It's time to panic. Ah! Can you both just chill out? Dad, she's getting mad at us. We need to leave. Good idea. Let's go. Ugh, my hair. That's why they think I'm my twin sister. She must have come in the middle of the night and dyed my hair. Ugh, my stupid husband. Can't do anything right. Mackenzie, your dad's an idiot. Ugh, do I really? Explain myself and try and convince them it's really me. Uh, I guess I really do. There she is. Arrest her. Hands in the air. You're under arrest, Georgia. And what did you do with my wife? I am your wife. And back away, George. I'm not under arrest. Are you resisting arrest? Yes, because I'm not Georgia. She really is as crazy as mom says she is. I am your mom. Um, no, you're not. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Ugh, you're all idiots. That definitely is not something my mom would say. Well, I'm I told my silly little husband to keep watch last night, but he couldn't even do that. And that my sister came into my room and dyed my hair, making me look like her. That doesn't even make sense. I stayed up all night watching over you. I only went downstairs to eat the pizza that you got me, and then I passed out, like, right after that, I think. I didn't even get you pizza. See, she planned all of this. Uh, I don't know about that. My mom would never dye her hair. That's what I'm saying. My hair. I don't know if I believe you. Okay, I'm giving you one last chance to come clean. Tell me where Mackenzie's mom is and go back to Bloxburg and I won't arrest you. George, what about the vow to your dad? I don't care at this point. I just want to see your mom back safe and sound. I am her mom. I'm giving you one last chance. Help! What? What was that? It sounded like my wife. Must be mom. Come on, let's go. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. There is no way they believe this. Mom! Honey, how did this happen? Whatever lie comes out of her mouth is going to be pretty good. Honey! Mom, Mom, are you okay? How did you let this happen? You were on watch last night, idiot. And you. Arrest her, George. Yeah, George, arrest that fake. You have got to be actually kidding me right now. This has to be some sort of joke. Georgia, I gave you every opportunity, but you're finished. You are going to jail. Yeah, it's about time she gets locked up. Why, you little... Come here! Ah! George, George, put me down! Nope, you're coming with me! Oof, that was a close one! I thought I was gonna lose my life again! I mean, she's done it before, and she tried to do it again. That was really scary. I'm glad you're safe, Mom. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me three! Oh, and you're in the doghouse for being stupid. Later that same evening. Uh, I feel so great my twin has finally been arrested after all of these years. Good to have my life back, or what could have been, I guess you could say. Mom, why do you keep talking so cryptic? I'm not talking cryptic at all. What do you mean? Yeah, honey, you kinda are. You're in the doghouse. Watch what you say. Oh, boy. Something feels very off right now. Meanwhile... George, you gotta get me out of here. This is a nightmare. You caused your own nightmare, Georgia. But I am not Georgia. What do you not understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what every criminal with a twin says. It's not me. But guess what? You've been caught red-handed, so... This is outrageous. I'm a lawyer. I know my rights. Outrageous or not, I'm just following orders. And you're not a lawyer. Your sister is. Orders? You're just being a pawn in my sister's game, George. You need to open your eyes. I don't know what game you're talking about, but yelling at me won't change anything. You need to understand, George. I have a life, a family. You mean your sister has a life and a family, not you. You're accusing me of a crime I didn't commit. 
But you did. And if you want further investigating, I suggest you change that attitude. Attitude? You're ruining my life, George. Get your act together. Your life or your sister's? I can't tell the difference right now. That's because you're blind, blind and stupid. I'm just doing my job. If you want to prove your innocence, do it the right way. Right way? You think I care about rules right now? Let me out of here. I can't let you out until we figure this out. Figure it out faster then. I won't sit in here all day for a crime that I did not commit. Well, it seems pretty figured out to me. Ugh, when I get out of here, this is so over for you. Oh, another threat. The next day. Oh, Mackenzie's mom. How's it going? Not good, since I have to look at your stupid head. You're balding, and it says a lot about your status. If you don't understand what I mean, I think it makes you look like a brokey. Excuse me? Ugh, God, you're so annoying. Why are you acting like this? Because I don't like you. I never have. Seems like you're having a bad day. Huh, I will just give you a moment. No, I'm definitely having a good day. And why is that? Well, I fired the entire office just now and sent all the employees home crying. What? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, whatever, it can be fixed. Oh, but that's not all I did. What else did you do? <laughs> Casey's mom, what else did you do? <laughs> Answer me! I lied on all the files being sent to the judge, so all of our clients are basically going to end up in jail. And then we're going to have to close the law firm. I, I, I think I'm going to be sick. You, you didn't actually do that, right? Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to do this, but you're fired! Woohoo! What is going on with her? She just ruined my life! Moments later. Time to do a little destroying. Aha! ever mess with me. That's if she ever gets out of jail. Uh, something feels super off. Yeah, why would your mom destroy her own car? Guy, I have a feeling that that's not my mom. What? What do you mean? I think Georgia is pretending to be her while my mom's in jail. But that doesn't even make sense. She must have dyed her hair and then dyed my mom's hair and then planned this whole thing out. We need to go see my real mom in jail. But what if that's actually Georgia in jail? Well, I'll ask her something only my mom would know. Huh, but why would she have said something like that when she was getting arrested? She doesn't really think properly when she's mad. Yeah, that makes sense. Five minutes later. What are you two girls doing here? We've come to see my mom. Your mom? I mean, my mom's twin. Yeah, we wanted to ask her a few questions. Well, watch out. She's a feisty one. Okay, roger that. Okay, let me do all the talking. What? Because she's my mom, and I'll be able to tell. Now, come on, let's go. Uh, what do you want? Mom? Wait, so you do believe me? Well, not yet. Well, what do I have to do? Answer our questions. Guy, remember, I said no talking. Hey, it just felt like it was my time to say something. I'll answer any questions you have. Anything. Bud. Okay, well, what are they? Well, there's just one. Just one? I know what I'm doing, Sky. Psh, doesn't seem like it. Okay, I can do that. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Don't get too confident now. Oh, jeez. What were we supposed to do that got canceled, but you never made plans to do it again um are you serious so you don't know the answer okay sky time to go no no, no. i do remember uh i just gotta think that's all are you gonna stop dodging the question and answer yes okay yes it was <gasps> it was a girl's day <gasps> you are my mom that's what i've been saying how do i break her out good question but we have to do it fast before my twin sister literally ruins my life i hate to break it to you but it's She's already doing that. Oh, no, you've got to be kidding me. We've got to go steal George's key. It's the only way. Or we could just press this button. Wait, what? It was just that easy? Huh, who would have thought? Come on, let's go. Hey, where are you going? See you never, George. Oh, God, they're too fast. A few moments later. Okay, we have to talk to your dad because he'll be able to help when she goes to sleep. Without him, this plan will be hard. Are you sure? Dad can be a tough person to convince sometimes. He's still convinced that the pizzas were made for a reward for guarding the bedroom. He did a terrible job of that. Worst I've ever even seen, I think. Fun, let's go find Dad. Kenzie? Sky? <gasps> Georgia? Ah, stay away from me! Well, there goes that plan. Tie him up and throw him in the garage? I mean, sounds good to me. Good, the quicker the better. Agreed. Sure thing. Moments later. We've got to think of something quick before she messes up everything. Everything. I've got some bad news. What is it? Okay, but don't be too upset. Just go on with it. See, this is why we don't want to tell you. We're scared you're going to blow up and take it out on us. I promise I won't get mad. Are you for real? Yes. Should we tell her? I don't know. What do you think? You know I can hear you two, right? Excuse me, Mom, but we're having a private conversation. Then go into another room. Fine, we will. So, what were we talking about? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, uh, me neither. What is taking you two so long? That's what it was. 
if we should tell my mom about what George is doing. Well, I feel like we have to now, because if we don't, then she'll be super heated. That's super true. I guess we're going to have to. Okay, I'm waiting. Well, how do we put this? Georgia has kind of already destroyed your life and the city. It's all over the news, and Laura even mentioned it on the breaking news. It's not looking good, to be completely honest. I hate to break it to you. No pun intended. That is just great. I'm just going to lay here all day. When my evil sister comes back home after a hard day's work of destroying the city, feel free to let me know. Wow, she took that a lot better than I thought. Yeah, I thought she was going to, like, blow up at us or something. Yeah, me too. I heard that. A few moments later. Oh, girls, you scared me. Oh, did we now? Maybe that was our goal. You're acting pretty crazy, girls. Or are you? You destroyed the whole city and ruined your name. Or should I say my mom's name? Yeah, give it up. It's pretty obvious who you are by now. Fine, I'm not your mom, but... I would have been. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I had no choice but to flee to Bloxburg. I'm the original Helen. All those years ago, my sister Georgia stole my identity and it caused me to flee town. So I came back looking for revenge to ruin the life she stole from me. She stole my boyfriend, also known as your dad, my job, my school, which made her into a lawyer. And then she thought she could just change and be me. But nope, not under my I watch. I had to come back and set her straight. I think I'm gonna be sick. That's insane. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. But you're not my real mom, right? No, your real mom is Georgia, but she stole my life years ago, before you were born. So, I came back to steal my life back that she created to be hers. Whoa, okay, this is all way too much. I think I'm gonna have a headache. I already have one. I know, it's a lot, but I had to get revenge. I'm sorry about messing your life up. I feel really bad about it. Well, does that make me evil? because my mom is? No, not at all. Honey, there you are. Georgia is here. Uh, he is so much more annoying than I remember him to be. There you are, thief. I already told them everything, sis. It's too late. Told them? Told them what? Just shut up and go upstairs. I definitely think I'm going to be sick to my stomach. I'm calling George over. One pathetic soap story later. Well, looks like we're both going to jail now. Does it mean anything to just apologize and get over this beef? No, you ruined my whole life and I will never forgive you. Great, well that's nice. Well, you started it and you ended it. So that makes you real mature. Yeah, it does. Be quiet. Oh, you two are giving me a headache, the both of you. Moments later. Well, our lives just turned upside down, that's for sure. You're telling me, I don't even know who I am anymore. It was like a double, triple swap. That was super meta. Too meta for me to understand. Well, I guess it's just you and me now, Dad. I guess so.